The survival mode stray cats live in reveals their feline instincts. But how do cats behave in Tokyo, the most populated city in the world? Forty-two million inhabitants, the majority of whom live in buildings that don't allow cats. Condominium regulations strictly forbid them for reasons of hygiene. Not so great for the Japanese, since they adore cats. Adore and even worship. Like here, in the Buddhist Gotokuji temple. Legend has it, a samurai was beckoned by a cat passing its paw behind its ear. He entered the temple just at the moment lightning struck where he'd been. To show his gratitude, he gave money to the sanctuary, and ever since, the beckoning cat, or maniki niko, has been a good luck charm to attract fortune. For cat lovers who can't afford their own house, there are places especially designed for enjoying our furry friends. This morning, the 15 residents of the Happy Neko Cafe emerge from the bedroom. 20 square meters governed by Princess and these other domestic cats. A realm entirely devoted to cats, where human visitors are merely tolerated. <laughs> this week, a new resident makes her appearance. This roly-poly kitten is called Kurumi, little nut in Japanese. She's just turned three months old, the minimum age for admission to this rather unusual place, the cat bar, where she will live from now on. But if Kurumi wants to fit into this elite feline group, she's going to have to prove herself. <laughs> It's not easy for a little kitten to win the approval of all the full-grown cats that have lived here for years. Each cat has its own personality and habits. Princess, the Persian cat, often hides beneath the doll's bed. It's a feline survival reflex to find a hiding spot for peaceful sleeping. Komono likes to sit in salad bowls. Classic behavior for domestic cats. They feel protected from the outside world, safe and secure. This one's called Roll. She's gotten into the habit of poking about people's plates. She refuses to follow the rules imposed by humans and eats whenever she feels like it. But there's no question of letting Kurumi pick up the same habit. The waitress quickly sets the record straight. Last but not least is Konatsu. This Siamese cat is not quite a year old, and Kurumi's presence reminds her of her kittenhood.
These indoor cats seem used to a cushy life in a safe environment, far from the wild existence of their fellow Greek felines. They've traded their freedom to live like plush toys in an enclosed environment. But the cafe contains specially designed substitutes for life in the wild. Instead of trees, there are shelves, because like leopards, for example, cats love to climb, the ideal position for staking out prey. The only prey here live outside the window where they're impossible to catch. So to satisfy their urge to hunt, even the adult cats play from time to time, a behavior more common among cats in captivity. At the end of this day of discovery and play, Kurumi finally finds a spot to rest between two sofas. <laughs> 